What's up guys, it's me and welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be five types of calendars, just show you guys different ways you can set up calendars, because let's be honest, there's like so many different ways to set up calendars. I got this video idea from Planet with K, one of my good friends from the interwebs. And I'll just show you five different calendars. And if you guys do need some more inspiration, I did do an entire series called Bojo Breakdown Series about a year ago? <laughs> a year ago, I did not even know. It's about a year ago where me and Kayla from Dang It's Kayla, we collaborated and made this entire series, Bujo Breakdown. We did the core edition, we haven't done any more editions, but I had an episode on calendars and we basically broke down the bullet journal from future log to weekly logs. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll make sure to leave that in the description box below. But yeah, this is one of my favorite videos. It's very informative. Hope you guys get something from it. So I'm gonna stop rambling and make sure you guys can Get all the information you need and get right on to this video. Okay, so start off with this first calendar. This is one I used to use all the time. I used to have the calendar on the left side of the page and then have a task list for each week by the right side. Um, I've done this in my September plan with me of 2020, my August home me of 2020, and a couple other plans with me. I can't think of the rest of them off the top of my head, but I know those two for a fact. So if you guys need some more inspiration on how to like these works so what they look like filled in, I'll leave my 2020 flip through and the plan with me in the cards above. But yeah, so it's a simple six by six calendar and you basically make it <laughs> extravagant like I do if you want to, you don't have to. I used to do just basic drawings for calendars, honestly, the black lines and a couple dots for the dates and I'll be good. <laughs> But I decided to add a little row at the top to put a little bit of color on this calendar and put the dates. So for each calendar, I'm going to be using a different theme. So this one is going to be like this tropical flower springtime theme. I've been really excited for spring. I can't wait for it to warm here in Atlanta because, you know, Georgia is a little bipolar. So I didn't promise these spreads would be simple, but I tried to make sure that everything functional is able to use. So I just did a little bit of this rainbow lettering everyone likes to call. I haven't done it in a while. And so here's where the task list comes into play. So I'm going to draw a dividing line for each week to show that week. Sometimes I don't even do this. Honestly, I just like use the six rows from the calendar. So this calendar is very greatly suited for students people like busy schedules because you can look at the weekly task list while you're planning out your week and your month and you can, it's so good and some ex things you can exchange the task list for is like a do this week or a chores list to pack to clean just you can switch this out for any kind of weekly thing you can just switch it out for you have a tracker a lot of these calendars i've set up in this video are going to be greatly suited for students obviously because i am a student so i know what i would need and if these you know recreate these let me know and tag me at a station on instagram so i'm filling them in as well too so you guys can see what they look like filled in and so moving on to the second one this one takes a little bit more time to set up but it has a lot of components to it so I think this would be great for students, depending on how much time you have to set up bullet journal spreads. So this is going to be a Dutch door. So we have a one page calendar. I'm going to be using plain with case stickers as well for some of these spreads. I just haven't used their stickers in a while and I have a big collection of them and I just don't want them to go to waste. So starting off on the left side of the page, we have an excitement tracker. I really could have just put trackers because you'll see why. Now I'm adding some watercolor to the top for the header for March. So I'm going in and drawing the calendar and the dimensions for this is four spaces tall, four spaces wide, six spaces tall, and that should work in an A5 journal. This is an A5 plus because it's dingbats. So this is going to be a basic calendar for the month of March. I'm putting in the March sticker at the top where the watercolor head is. And so this calendar is going to be very helpful to people who also can't keep up with their trackers because all your trackers will be on this one spread so on the left side you'll have your assignment tracker then in the dutch store we'll have a habit tracker mood tracker and a daily review which is pretty much all the spreads i set up in my videos so you should be able to fit them all in here so this assignment tracker i have it split in the middle because i have a block schedule so 
every day I have a different set of classes, so it's easier for me to keep up like 8A on the left side and BD on the right side. So now you see me setting up the tracker side of this Dutch door, which is going to have six habit trackers, a mood tracker for all 31 days of the month, and a daily review spread for all 31 days of the month. Other things you can switch this out for, you can do what I do, put my, put your finance tracker in there, or even just make more assignment trackers or a daily review. I just wanted to make this spread to show you guys that you can put anything with the Dutch door. So you can have a tracker with your calendar and basically have all your setup in two pages or one or two, honestly. And it works out because I know that if it was me, I couldn't do this because I love just being able to like set up different pages. But if I had a busy month, this would totally work out for me because I'm able to look at everything at one glance. My seven trackers on the left side with my calendar. So my personal events and school events are right next to each other. And then on the inside, I can literally just fill in my habit tracker, mood tracker, and daily review. And I can reference my calendar if I forget the dates and forget to fill it in for a couple of days or so. So like I said, I'm just filling them in. It's really simple. And like I said, pretty quick and easy because everything's on one spread. Moving on to this third one, this is gonna be a little bit of a pared down tracker calendar. So on the left side, we have a calendar with the same dimensions, four spaces wide, six spaces tall. And then on the right side, we're gonna have four trackers, a habit tracker, finance tracker, task list, and a note section. So I'm using some Zebra Mile liners to color in the headers. Fun fact, I actually filmed a video similar to this back in April of 2020. It didn't really make the cut, one, because like the footage was like just horrible. And then I actually ran out of storage on my computer, so I ended up deleting that files. So yeah, this is one of those spreads actually that came from it. Just a bigger blown up version of it. So I'm gonna write in the March header at the top using some fancy calligraphy. Now moving on to the trackers, I'm gonna be drawing in a habit tracker. I didn't number it just because I didn't feel like it, but an easy way to find seven dates, if you have a ruler that has centimeters, seven is three and a half because two dots make one centimeter. Now for these three sections on the side, I'm going to have the finance tracker, the task list, and the notes section. I imagine this being very helpful for people that are just starting and everything is so small that it shouldn't be hard to keep up with, but you never know. I don't know people's life like that, but like I said, I just wanted to make it super simple for people who are just starting out, so therefore that you can see literally everything you need. And you can also switch out these things and start trying new things every month and see how that works and then you can like make it a full spread you can like make a full finance tracker or a full task list or a full habit tracker so it's just like a tester page if you want to call it that so as you can see while filling with these one page challengers you may not want to put if you have a lot of events because they are tall but since they're so so narrow you have to probably use like two lines for one event i don't know i just don't use my calendars because I like having a two page calendar. That's honestly all it is. And you can fill in your habit tracker in many different ways. I would imagine like you do like every other color or do each week a different color. Mm. So when we go on to the fourth calendar, I'm gonna be using some more Plan With K stickers. I'm gonna be using the baking collection. I have a lot of these stickers left as you can see and I got this back in September, October-ish. So yeah, I'd see, this is why I'm telling you, I have to use these stickers up. So I'm gonna go in and start writing in the March header. And that's a big tip I have, honestly. Use stickers. If you don't feel comfortable drawing or if you don't want to draw, or don't have the time to draw, use stickers. They are sometimes my saving grace because 
I can assure you that there's some sprints that would take me 30 minutes if I drew, but took me 10 minutes because all I have to do is draw the lines and then put some stickers on it. And it still looks really good too. So I'm gonna draw it in this calendar. This calendar is more for those people who love to doodle. <laughs> I guess that's contradictory what I just said because I'm using stickers, but if you really love to do it, this calendar is meant for you. You get a nice big calendar and you have a lot of space to draw, a lot of space to draw. So the calendar missions for these are seven spaces wide and five spaces tall. So I'm adding in the days of the week headers using those stickers. I'm going to add some aprons to the right side of the calendar and my camera cut out i all i did was add some watercolor and a couple another apron just something a little something, something. i'm going in writing the numbers with the tomofono suke as well so as you can see here i'm keeping it pretty minimal a little bit just adding some cupcakes and desserts to the bottom lining the page and also adding a monthly overview sticker to the big header and that is it for this spread. So I'm just gonna fill it in, show you guys how it's used. Like I said, this is really good for doodlers and also on top of that people with a lot of events because there's so much planning space on the calendar. So when we go into this last one, I'm gonna be using this purpley, watercolor, starry, like all these purple stickers I have that I haven't used. So I was really excited for this one. So this is going to be a numberless calendar, but in a very different style, very obsessive stationary. So I'm gonna go in with the header. I'm gonna have March using my time to do a brush pen. I'm gonna write an overview on that watercolor header. Maybe I should have switched this to have March overview, but that doesn't matter. So I'm giving that a drop shadow. I'm writing other numbers on the right side of the page and kind of trying to put it in the crack just because I want it to be very center. So over here, I'm going to have my school and personal divided because it's easy for me to keep up. And I'm pretty sure it'll be easy for you to keep up. So I'm dividing it by the week. Then on the right side of that, I have a weekly chores list or anything that you have to keep up keep up with something weekly so monday i do this or tuesday i do this like a weekly routine or a class schedule especially during this kind of virtual school you can have your class schedule on the side so then on the left side i have a task list and then i'm going and giving my header a white drop shadow so you can see the black off the purple like i said this is very fun and easy to set up you saw how quick it took me to set up i'm just writing a quote that says you got this because you know we all need a little bit of motivation giving got and the exclamation point uh, drop shadow with the purple and I'm getting to fill it in and that is it for these five types of calendars I'm telling you these calendars have forced my creativity to come out because Lord knows it took me a while to come up with some different styles of calendars but I really hope you guys enjoy this video so I'm gonna flip through the rest of them and show you guys how they all turned out so I hope you guys enjoyed this Thank you so much for watching, so I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and hand you guys off to the outro. Alright, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, got some inspiration from it, got some information, learned something new about calendars. And this is your first time seeing a blow drawing video, welcome to the family. My name is Anthony. <laughs> There's so many other different channels about this. I also have an entire series, like I mentioned in the intro, the Boudreaux Breakdown series where I break down the future log collections and monthly, dailies, weeklies, a whole bunch of different spread styles. And I did it with my friend, Daniel Kayla. So make sure to check that out. The link is in the description box below. And also go follow her on Instagram and subscribe to her channel. Which also link the description box below. And speaking of subscribe, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel here on YouTube and all my other social media. So it's at a stationary Instagram, TikTok, and don't forget to use my affiliate code, OSFAM10 for 10% off. It doesn't cost you anything more. It really helps this channel out in general. You can get ten percent off of your order. It's the win-win situation. So, <laughs> or you can just use the link in the description box below. They're both affiliate. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And buy my stationery, fam.